crispy cauliflower cakes with a delicious zesty yogurt sauce on top and they're really great for cocktail parties. And they start with riced cauliflower, which you can buy in the frozen state or just in the produce section. This is really widely available now, which is great because it's such an awesome ingredient. And then I'm adding a beaten egg and two things to kind of bring them together, flour and cornstarch, not too much of either. And then I've got some green onions mm. for flavor and some minced garlic. And then on the flavor front, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of curry powder. You can use any kind of curry you like. I love, oh, I love the smell, I love the color, I love everything about curry. And a couple of teaspoons of cumin. What a yummy combination. And then it needs some salt. I've got some oil heating up on pretty low heat in a skillet. And then I'll stir this until the mixture just comes together. Now, if you don't have riced cauliflower in your supermarket, you can just make it yourself. All you have to do is put a head of cauliflower into a food processor and pulse it until it's completely broken up. It's a pretty magical ingredient. All right, so that's the mixture. It's not like a clumpy, really wet mixture. It just barely comes together. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna check the oil. <laughs> oh. The oil. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a scoop to get this mixture into the pan. So I'll get a pretty good amount and then I'll just drop it carefully right into the oil. And you don't wanna to touch it right off the bat. You want it to kind of set as it hits that oil. And so I'm gonna keep scooping this mixture into the oil and then I'll babysit the fritters as they fry. It's gonna take about two minutes per side. Okay, Alex, look at these cute little crispy cauliflower cakes. Wow, those turned out great. Don't they look yummy? And the great thing about little fritters like this is that you can actually serve them at room temperature so you can make them well ahead of your party and you don't have to sit there and fry as your guests are arriving. So I'm making a little yogurt sauce to either dip them in or top them with. So I've got Greek yogurt and I'm adding the zest and juice of a lemon. Hot sauce, can't help it. It's just a reflex at this point. <laughs> and then I'm gonna chop up some cilantro and I'm gonna mince it really fine. These are basically like little corn fritters or crab cakes. And the great thing is you can make a huge quantity and just fry them an hour or two before the party and they're really, really good at room temperature. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle in some salt and pepper too. Very, very simple. Okay, now let's serve them. So I've got a pretty platter and I'll get the fritters. I keep calling them fritters. The crispy cauliflower cakes <laughs> onto the platter. However many will fit. And if they all don't fit, then I will have an extra snack for myself. That's how I like to do things. Look, there's one left. <laughs> Turned out perfect. And then I'll put a little dollop right in the center. Look at that. Wow. All right. I'm gonna dollop away until they're all covered. Okay, you can sprinkle over some more minced cilantro if you want to, but I don't think it needs it. These are perfectly perfect, just as they are. So as not to disturb the platter, I'm just <laughs> gonna dunk and taste. Oh yes. Mm. My kind of holiday bite right here.